In this video, you will be shown how to create a quiz on quizzes. Now, the first thing you will need to do is go to quizzes.com backslash sign up. And if you do not have an account yet, click where it says sign up, follow those directions, and then come back to the screen, and then type in your username and password. Then click go. And then that'll take you to your quizzes homepage. There are a few options at the top. There's public to use public quizzes that somebody has already created. There's a section for my quizzes, which will store all the quizzes that you will create. And if you want to create a new one, click create new. And then also each quiz has a really good report that you can look back and see how your students did on that particular assessment. So for this video, we're going to create a new quizzes. So Create new. And then it'll prompt you to name your quizzes and then choose a language and then select whether it's public or private. So I'm going to name mine the solar system. I'm going to keep the language in English and then I'll keep this at public, meaning that anybody can use the quiz that I'm about to create. If you'd like to keep it private, just click private and no one else will be able to use it other than just yourself. Then click done. Be taken to this screen where you can start creating your questions. So just simply click where it says question and then you'll type in your question. And you can even see to the right that there's a question preview and that will show you just how it will look for students. You can upload an image to this question if you would like. The default time for each question that a student has is 30 seconds. However, you can see you can change this, but I usually just keep it at the default time. And then what you will do is start typing in the different options you want to have for your students. So I'll type in the different multiple choice answers. You can see a minimum is two multiple choice answers per question. For this video, I'm going to add four. And then it is important to make sure you click whichever answer is correct. Now I am finished with this question. Next step, I want to add a new question. So just click new question and follow the previous steps that we just went over. So for this question, I'm going to make it true or false. So I'll just type in true or false. And my statement is the sun is the largest star. So option one, true. Option two, false. And then I'll click the correct answer is false for this question. Now I'm going to add another question. So I'll click new question again. And then I have typed in my question, which planet is closest to Earth? Then the next step is to type in the different options for your students. After I have typed all my options for my students, I'll need to click the correct answer. Now, for the sake of this video, I will just show you how to create three questions. If you're using this in your classroom, you'll definitely want to create more than just three questions for your quiz. And then when you've created all the questions that you would like for your quiz, go over to the upper right hand corner and click finish. And then there will be a few more steps that you'll need to complete. So the subject that you're going to use this in. So I will click other sciences and then I will scroll down and select the topic. And for this quiz, astronomy. And then I'll click finish and create quiz. And then it will take me to this screen. Now if I would like to play my quiz, I'll click play. Now I usually keep everything at the default. The one thing that you'll want to think about is show memes, which will appear after every question. Students really enjoy this, but it can also get them overly excited. After I have all my options how I would like them, I'll click proceed. Now it will take me to this screen. You can see that you'll need to have your students go to join.quizzes.com. And when they go there, you can see on the right hand side of my screen, this is what it will look like for them. They will need to enter that five digit code 
which is unique to the quiz that you just created. So I'll type in 95058 and then I will click proceed. And then students will need to enter their name. So I will just click Chris, or type in Chris, and then click join. Then you can see it will give your student an avatar. That's what it'll look like on the screen, which will be unique to that student for this particular quiz. And then if a student has an inappropriate name or a silly name, you can easily just click on their name and it says click to kick and you'll kick them out of the game. After all your students have signed up, you can click start game. And that will start the game. This is what it'll look like for your students. And they will just be able to move through this quiz at their own pace. So how many constellations are in the night sky? Click 88 there. You can see automatic feedback. So that is how you create a quiz within quizzes. Now I will show you how to retrieve an already created quiz. Once again, you'll come to quizzes.com backslash sign up. Click go. And then once again, you have the option to use public quizzes or your own that you've created. We're going to select my quizzes. Then I will select the one I just created, the solar system. You can even see on the right the three questions we included. And then I will scroll up and it's everything's ready to go. I will click play. And then I will choose my different options and then click proceed and then I will have my students go to join.quizzes.com and make sure you have students enter the code for the quiz and start the game and that concludes the video on quizzes and I hope you enjoy this tool